I'm good. All right, open it up for a question for Coach Moore. Tim, what did you hope to get out of today? Where did you feel like you hit the mark? What would you have liked to have done better at? Uh, well, just play. I mean, three weeks into it, so playing uh, an opponent helps us get your information, gives the kids information, which we need. Uh, I think more than anything, just play good baseball. I thought we did that uh, certainly at times uh, in the first game. And, and you know, at times in the second game too, we just offensively didn't didn't put a lot of runners on base. But I thought from a pitching standpoint, we were solid uh, certainly in the first game, and uh, some of that in the in the second game as well. Played pretty good defense in the first game, not so much in the fifth and sixth, but that's just part of it. Uh, what did you see from Brody Johnston today? Uh, presence, uh, uh, feel like he belongs. Saw that this summer with him, you know, in a college league. But Brody has a nice way about him. He feels like he can step on the field and help his team, mm -hmm. both defensively and offensively. There's, a, you know, there's a feeling to him that uh, is unique. You mentioned, a, you know, the last time we talked to you that Braden Holcomb and Colin Barcy were two sophomores who could be breakout candidates. What are you needing to see from them to kind of take that next step, and how close have they kind of gotten to that in the fall? Just improvement. I mean, Bars, that was the first time Bars you got on the field behind the plate, you know, here at least at, at Vanderbilt, you did it this summer. So I, I think that he's just going to be learning in motion. And then Braden has continued to just grow as a player. I mean, he's played third base here, he's played first base here, he's played right field. But he continues to grow. I thought his at bats were okay. I thought he did a nice job with two strikes, and he, he did a nice job battling too once he got to two strikes and staying in the at bat, so pretty good day for him. Your hitters see a lot of 94, 95, 96 in practice. How helpful was it to see maybe some different stuff, a lot more breaking pitches? And, and was the choice of opponent intentional for that reason? Uh, well, I mean, playing Tennessee Tech is, is a good experience for both of us. I think Matt is a heck of a guy. Uh, number one and number two I, I thought their pitching staff was pretty good I thought they executed pretty well they decelerated the ball and that was good for us to see certainly in the first game the first two guys were with quality arms that, that did a nice job with that but yes I think uh, as a hitter you uh, you get lost in training and practicing probably more against velocity and when it gets right down to it, it's uh, a mix of. It's your ability to be able to get into the ground and uh, be able to delay your hands in order to make a move to the ball. So the more of that you see, the better. Uh, I thought there were some panic swings up there at certain times, but uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, we haven't played a whole lot. So I think this was actually the fourth time that we've played. Hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, all of this helps for, for certain. Um, for RJ Austin, Chris Maldonado, and Matthew Polk, what's their status if they've injured? Yeah, uh, Pokey uh, hurt his knee uh, early in the fall, so he's out. Um, but hopefully we can get him back towards the end of the fall for potentially black and gold. I don't know about next week. Uh, Austin, uh, uh, shoulder. Uh, he's out for the time being, but hopefully we get him back before the end of the fall. Nothing serious. And then, who was the other one you mentioned? Chris Maldonado. Yeah, Maldo's coming off the uh, shoulder injury, so he's playing defense for us, and he is hitting. Um, he's only had a few at-bats against live, so those are, you know, three pretty good players that should uh, push for time, potentially. Coach, can you talk about Cody Bowker? What about his talents made you want him to be part of this program, and how do you think he's improved upon those talents this fall? I've known Cody for quite some time. I've known him since he played the outfield for the Maine Lightning organization where Jacob Humphrey played as well. So I knew Cody more as a position player than I did as a pitcher. But as he grew, uh, you could see he was evolving into a, a pretty good pitcher. He's a good athlete with a pretty good arm. And... Uh, I've always liked the family, I liked him, and we got a call from his coach at Georgetown last year. It, uh, that was, it was just an opportunity that we felt was worth it because we had some history with the kid. But he keeps evolving too, you know, he hasn't pitched that long, so 
piece of kid that uh, continues to grow. What do you think that some of the freshman pitchers, you know, Shorey, Barton, and England, Brian, you know, what can they bring to your team this year? Uh, we'll see. You know, I, I just it just depends. I mean, Matt, Matt has gotten better each time out. England certainly has. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, Barton, Barton's got a good arm. Yeah, I, I like the way they competed out there. I thought they were good. So hopefully they can they can give us some innings because I think they're capable. Uh, pretty good stuff, all three of them. Can, can you speak to Barton because he played at a, a, a tiny high school that I think plays seven man football. Um, was a, was hurt a lot. Just I'm not gonna say a pop up prospect because it might do it him injustice, but a guy that certainly rose quickly. On, on the radar before the draft and everything. Just talk about that journey of, of him getting healthy and him getting here. Well, he'd, he'd been on our radar for a time because of his arm strength and his ability to pitch. I, I think he's got a good presence about him. I do. Uh, he, he doesn't feel like a freshman. But the arm injury kind of slowed him up to him being late into the high school season, which, you know, may have made the difference on whether he's here or not. Yeah. But we're glad he's here. Uh, he certainly has a chance to really develop inside the program. He's a smart kid, pays attention. Uh, he's conscientious. I think he's tough, uh, at least in the short amount of time that he's been here. Uh, his teammates respect him. And uh, I, I think, you know, he got out of that inning tonight. I thought that was good. You know, first and third, one out, got two strikeouts at the top of the lineup. So, yeah, I, I like Huddy. With your new um, staff, is there anything you're kind of changing with your approach offensively or, you know, what you're trying to do at the plate? Well, I th you know, when you have new people, personalities uh, are new and backgrounds are a little bit new. So, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there's some things that we're doing a little bit differently. Jason has a lot of experience in the college game. And uh, Ty does, too, for a young kid. So they, they, they bring something to the table. We didn't see Ethan McElvain tonight. How's he done? Good. Ethan's good. He's throwing. Uh, just started throwing bullpens. So he, J.D. Thompson, just bringing them along slow. Again, they same thing. Yeah. So uh, won't see them pitch competitively in games or against us. Just get them wrapped up for the season. I know uh, you, you assigned the numbers. England is, is 99. Was there? A, I know he's a lefty, but was there a Mitch Williams thought in there anywhere? With England, he yeah. looks like Mitch Williams, but he's righty. <laughs> right. Um, Eng <laughs> was that coincidental? Are you telling me yeah. that's coincidental, or would that? Did well, that I just gave it to him. I think he has that type of personality. <laughs> he's got this big USA belt buckle that he wears around <laughs> campus. And, yeah, I'll just stop right there. He's <laughs> he's fun. He's a lot of fun. He's got a unique personality. He's cool. Cool kid. Glad we have him for sure. I think he's going to really develop. Yeah, I like that kid. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thank man. you.